Hi everyone, Bob here, and welcome to The Perfect Drink, where if you're going to make a drink, make it the perfect drink. Well, here I find myself in February, and what always comes to mind? Valentine's Day. So today I'm going to dedicate this next drink to Valentine's Day and to all the couples out there, and, and prepare a drink that everyone can share and toast to their wonderful Valentine. Um, I like a good Cosmo. Um, so let's define what a good Cosmo is. Uh, what I don't like is when I go to a bar and I get a few shots of vodka, a little really tiny splash of cranberry, maybe a squeeze of lime, and some Cointreau. And basically I get it, it barely has got any color to it and it tastes like a martini. Um, to me a Cosmo is a very, it's a tart drink with a little bit of sweetness, nice color, and um, has a orange background flavor. And to create that, what I've created for my Perfect Cosmo is I like to use Grey Goose Orange, uh, as I mentioned Cointreau, Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice, and Lime Juice. So the proportions that I like to use for the Grey Goose Orange uh, is two ounces. And I like the orange because it just really complements the Cointreau and provides a little depth of flavor um, with the orange. And again, if I want a martini, I'll order a martini with a Cosmo. I'm looking for something that's got a little more um, character to it. And then um, also two ounces is the uh, Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. And I know that sounds like a lot, but when you mix it in with all the alcohol and then the tartness of the lime juice, it really does balance out the drink with that proportion. Then for the Fontro, I'm going to put uh, one and a quarter ounces. So there's my one. And then just a quarter more. And then finally, for my lime juice, I'm going to do um, one and a half uh, teaspoons. So you fill up the teaspoon to a full one and then a half. So once all the ingredients are in, uh, again, it's a simple shake. Make sure you get everything really cold. With shaking with the ice, what it does is it helps um, take a lot of the redness out of the cranberry juice because of dilution as it's getting colder. So you'll see when I pour the drink, it's a nice pink consistency. Okay, and as with most of my drinks, I like to use a, a nice frozen um, martini glass. And in this case, I'm going to garnish it just with a little peel of lime, nothing fancy. And then pour in the cocktail. As you can see, a nice beautiful pink color. Uh, again, reminds me of Valentine's Day. And like I said, a, you know, it's one drink I like. It's a Cosmo, um, as long as it's got the right proportions. So let's take a taste. Oh, now that's the perfect drink. So here's to everyone on Valentine's Day, uh, to all the couples out there and your significant others. Um, cheers and happy Valentine's.